this is another video uh, about Rushy Bill Roberts. And before I really get into this, I want to say that I want to believe Rushy Bill Roberts. I want to believe that Billy the Kid lived to be an old man, but I just don't believe it. Um, and one of the main, I made a couple other videos on, on this topic, and uh, one of the main comments that I get um, from people that do believe it is he had the same scars that Billy the Kid had. I mean, that's some, for some people, that's like the mic drop moment. They say, oh, well, he had the same scars, so you don't know what you're talking about kind of thing. And uh, that, that whole scars thing has never really set well with me because there was 70 years in between when Billy the Kid in 1881 time frame before he maybe got shot by Pat Garrett in 1950 when he was claiming to be Billy the Kid. Now, they say that uh, Brushy Bill Roberts was full of scars when he died. And, it, and it's only two people that saw these scars are the paralegal Morrison and the coroner. Now, I have no problem believing that a man that grew up who was either 70s or 90s in 1950 grew up in a hard time and probably had a lot of scars. I've got scars and I grew up in the modern world. Um, so I would, I don't have any problem believing that Brushy Bill Roberts had scars, probably a lot of them. But we have to, you have to know what scars Billy the Kid had to say he had the same scars that Billy the Kid had. So what do we know about that? The only thing I know of is on April 1st, 1878, when Billy the Kid and the Regulators ambushed Sheriff Brady and killed him, um, after he killed Sheriff, they killed Sheriff Brady right away. You know, they shot from the adobe wall while he was going down the street. And then his, one of his deputies, Hindman, uh, he was hit and begging for water. I guess he's in a lot of pain. And a saloon keeper, you know, ran out into the road and got him to his feet and he was shot again. He died in the street. And Billy the Kid and Jim French jumped the adobe wall to run out to the street. Uh, and there's there's a little bit of confusion about why he did that. Uh, some say that he was there to get his rifle that Sheriff Brady had confiscated for, from him about six weeks earlier, earlier in February. This incident was on April 1st. And while they were out there trying to do that, uh, Matthews, Deputy Matthews, was from a covered position, shot Billy the Kid through the leg, through the left leg, and went through his inner thigh and out his out the other side, and then into Jim French's leg and out. So it went through both men's legs, in and out. Entry, exit wound. Okay, that's the only historical scar from Billy the Kid prior to 1881 that we know about. Okay, now a through and through a through and through bullet like that, 70 years later. I mean, I had knee surgery in my 20s, and there was a long eight-inch cut in my knee, and that scar has almost disappeared. You, I, you can still see it but it's, it's real faint and it's only 25 years old, not 70. I can imagine in 70 years, you would not be able to tell about that surgery. I, I don't know, I may be wrong, but it already looks a lot different than it did when I was in my 20s. So, and I had a soldier in Iraq in 2004 who was shot and he was hit here in the trap by AK-47. Just barely, he had his vest on but it was one in a million shot. And AK-47 round went into his trap and out. It was about probably about an inch or two. It was a hole, there was a hole, and then there was a burn mark where the bullet rest between his vest and the thing. A few months later, you couldn't even tell it happened. A few months later, think about 70 years. You think that scar 
it's on his back in 70 years and it's recognizable enough to identify him, there's no way. There's no way. So, again, I am open to it. If you have more, if you know of any more injuries that Billy the Kid had that Rusty Bill Roberts had, they didn't document which scars, best of my knowledge. And if there's somebody that knows different, then say so. But, and I think another thing that kind of takes away from the scars thing is this happened, he was shot on April 1st, 1878. Three days later on April 4th, which is amazing to me, is when the 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 gunfight at the Brazier Mill happened when uh, Buckshot Roberts was killed. And Buckshot Roberts was shot in the gut by one of the regulators uh, when it started. And he went to a, a, a building. And Billy the Kid tells the story. There's a witness I have him telling this story that he counted the rounds. When after he heard six shots from that that particular rifle, he knew that he was going to be reloading, and he ran down the porch or the sidewalk or whatever, and kind of slid and came to a standing position and shot Buckshot Roberts, hit him in the hip, and Buckshot Roberts took his gun that was he was trying to reload and pushed it into Billy the Kid, and he kind of fell backwards off the porch and then Buckshot Roberts closed the door and Billy the Kid and all them got on horses and took off. Buckshot Roberts died the next day. The only reason I tell that story is this is a man that was shot in the leg three days earlier. Three days earlier. And he's able to run down the porch, slide across the porch and come up to a standing position. And, you know, he's probably 18 years old at this point because this is 19, 1878. So uh, you got to imagine that um, that wound wasn't affecting him too much. And so if it's not affecting him that much three days later, is it still there, identifiable, 72 years later in 1950? So I, I, the, the, uh, the scars issue has never rang true to me. It just doesn't make sense especially because of the long, the long period of time that went by. Like I said, I have no doubt that Brushy Bill Roberts has scars. A man that farmed and worked the fields and all those kind of things his whole life has scars. And he claims to be a, a, a great horseman too. So, you know, those guys got scars. It's just the way it is. But does he have the same scars as Bloody Kid? We don't know that. And that argument doesn't make sense to me. And I'm telling you, people say it in the comments like it's a mic drop moment. Like, oh, he had the same scars. Which scars? Be specific. Again, I want to believe it. I am not here trying to, you know, validate history or anything like that. I'm just saying, trying to be realistic, trying to understand it. Uh, and the scars argument is not the one to land on, in my opinion. In my opinion. Anyway, make sure you like, share, subscribe, uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. If you think I'm wrong, you know, please let's do it respectfully if you can. Even if you can't, I think it helps the algorithm. So go ahead, I guess. Um, and feel free to suggest any book, anything that you think might convince me or tell me, give me some information that I'm not talking talking about in this video. I've read a whole lot. And uh, anyway, I haven't seen anything. So anyway, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate it.